hello welcome back to my channel and welcome to Eli's birthday vlog I am actually filming this intro after his birthday and it's been fun looking back on all this footage I put together and really just thinking where in the world did this year go I cannot believe he's already won so many of you guys have been along for our journey of struggling to get pregnant then finally getting pregnant and then having our miracle baby and now we're celebrating his first birthday it is just crazy today's video I wanted to take you along as I did some DIYs and some fun projects preparing for his birthday decorations and then just kind of take you along as we get ready for his party. In the first part of this video I'm going to be sharing four easy DIYs. I don't even know if some of these classify as DIYs because they were so easy but four easy craft projects that I did to decorate for his party and then the latter half of the video I will put everything together and you guys can see what his party looked like. If you are new here my name is Katie and I'm a mother who loves home decorations and DIYs and thrifting and all that good stuff so if that interests you I would love for you to subscribe and if we're not Instagram friends I would love for you to follow me over there so let's go ahead and jump into this first project it was so simple it's really just putting stickers on a banner but I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you I picked up both this banner and these stickers from Hobby Lobby and I was originally going to use this banner for his high chair but it was too large and I couldn't figure out a good way to deconstruct it so I decided to make a big banner for our stair railing and it worked out perfectly. And the thing I liked about this is I could easily peel off the sticker and use this banner for future projects. So this was definitely a super easy DIY. And because I used this large banner for the stair railing, I needed something for his high chair. Now I had made these ribbon garlands in the past. They're actually really easy. You just need a few different varieties of ribbon and it's really repetitive process, but it's not difficult at all. To get this effect, you're going to take your string, take your piece of ribbon and you're gonna make it into a shape just like this. You're gonna put this main cord down over it. And then all you need to do is take your little end pieces and put it through the hole like so and then grab them and pull them through. Keep that step over and over. I'll time lapse it for you. So I decided to do a large balloon arch for Eli's party and I was always intimidated to do these but I asked on Instagram for feedback and I got a lot of people saying that they're super easy and as I've worked on it I can attest to that it's very very easy so what you're gonna want is a balloon strip similar to this I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby and then my other recommendation is a balloon pump this will save you so much time now you could blow all these balloons up by your own mouth but it's gonna take you a long long time this pump was lifesaver so as I've already got my arch over here in your strip take the end of a balloon just push it through a little hole and then slide it over it will lock in place so it's gonna look similar to this and you just repeat the process until you have a balloon arch. One other tip I have is to blow some balloons up a little bit bigger than others just to make some dimension in your arch. So every 10 or so balloons I would add a little bundle of those small balloons and I think that, that helped the overall look of it and that's as simple as it is. If you've made a balloon arch or if you see this video and you decide to make a balloon arch let me know in the comments below I would love to hear from you. And for our final DIY, I wanted to do some kind of photo display and I had this scrap piece of wood in our basement from when we did the arch doorways and I decided to give it a fresh coat of paint and then I was just going to put some wording on it to go with a one year old birthday party theme. So I found these letters at Hobby Lobby and I just hot glued the big one. And so what I did next was I printed off his monthly milestone pictures. If you follow me on Instagram, you've likely seen these. And so I know if you are a parent, it will likely make you cry looking back at these monthly milestone pictures and realizing where in the world the last year go. It's a little sentimental moment but I taped them all around this piece of wood and I think it made a really cute photo display. Okay once I had everything assembled it was in time for the big party day. Here I am getting everything ready. I 
did this party in the afternoon and so I decided to do a variety of appetizers so fruits and veggies meat and cheese tray some cupcakes of course and I had my friend make these adorable cupcakes I was obsessed with how they turned out just me just assembling everything as you can see and then I wanted to show you guys if you ever make a charcuterie board and are looking to kind of jazz it up a little bit I would highly recommend making one of these meat flowers i know that sounds really really weird but essentially what i'm doing is i'm taking different pieces of salami and just layering them on top of each other around this wine glass and you just repeat this process until you turn the wine glass over and you have a beautiful flower so i was so impressed with how this turned out i saw it on pinterest and you never know when you see something like that if it's actually going to work but this was so easy and so cute and i got a lot of great compliments on it Like I said, I didn't get a ton of footage on the day of his party because we were just soaking it all in. And of course, you're trying to talk to everybody and really just enjoy the moment. But we had a, such a great day. We got to celebrate it with so many close family members. And Eli really is just so loved. And we are just so thankful for everybody who was able to make it. It was a great first birthday party. And a side note, for future parties, I'm going to try to do a better job taking my time and really getting the footage that I want. But, you know, you just kind of get lost in the moment. So anyway, I hope hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for coming along with me and I hope some of these DIYs could encourage you if you're planning a birthday party it was just such a special day and I'm so blessed to be able to be his mom and I cannot wait to watch him grow and continue to learn and I'm just so so thankful so thank you for being here thank you for tuning in to today's video thank you for all your love and support and again if you enjoyed this video please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and I will see you in my next one Bye.